Hi, my name is Ilma. Today I'd like to share my poem devotional um, on Psalm 55 verses 16 to 23. I've been posting Christian blogs for almost uh, 11 years now, almost every day, and uh, here is the Word of God. But I call to God and the Lord will save me, evening and morning and at noon. I utter my complaint and moan, and he hears my voice. He redeems my soul in safety from the battle that I wage. For many are arrayed against me. God will give ear and humble them. He who is enthroned from of old, Selah. Because they do not change and do not fear God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friends. He violated his covenant. His speech was smooth as butter, yet war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, will cast them down into the pit of destruction. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. Psalm 55, 16 to 23. And here's the poem I wrote, inspired by this psalm. When you cast your burdens to the Lord. Do you run to someone when you are in trouble and suffering? Do you get relieved when you unburden and start complaining? Did you get comforted or understood for what you are going through? If you resort to depending on other humans, you will be far from the truth. But when you cast your burdens to the Lord, you will be comforted. He never fails to hear even when you cry day and night. He'll be there to, for you. When you cast your burdens to the Lord, He will sustain and give you strength. Your faith will grow and you will be able to endure your circumstances. If you are faithful to serve the Lord, you will find much joy and peace. When you lay down on Jesus' feet your pleadings, you will find hope. Cast your burdens to the Lord and you will feel light. Unburden to others and you may be confused and lose sight. Reflection. What is the biggest promise we can take away from this psalm? And how is casting your burdens to God different from doing it to others? On the verse uh, 22 it says cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you he will never perm permit the righteous to be moved that is the biggest takeaway promise that we can uh, extract from this uh, psalm so when you cast your burden to him he will allow you to endure allow you to to be strong and allow you to be victorious even in, in the most um, hopeless and desperate situation that you're in. So that is a really big blessing and, and, and a very assuring blessing for us to um, focus on when we are going through some things. Now, how is casting your burden different to God, different from casting your burden on others? Well. You can complain to God because the complaining is seen by an almighty, all-seeing, all-knowing God, all-powerful God. So he knows everything about us. So the difference between that is that God doesn't, he can always judge us, but he is very gracious, he is very merciful, he is forgiving all our iniquities, our sins, our transgressions if we come to him and repent of our sins. So it is important for us to cast our burdens to God because we will not be misunderstood, we will not be um, judged is when in fact he can be the only one to judge us. Um, but 
when you cast your burdens on human beings, they will misinterpret it. If you remember the story of Job, where he had his friends come over when they heard about his uh, losing uh, his his wealth, his family, and all that. So instead of them comforting Job, what they did was that they pointed their fingers at him and said that you probably have a sin that you're that is there uh, bringing you to all these circumstances. God is punishing you and all that stuff. But it is so. It is not a good thing when you cast your burden on others because in a way that's also a boundary violation because when you cast your burden on others, although we're called in the Bible, share your burdens and fulfill the law. So when you share your burdens to, um, to be part of the communion of saints, that's a good thing. But when you share your burdens to unburden and to dump your stuff, that's not a good thing. So, and, and a lot of times uh, when you do it to someone else, to a human being, they don't see that big picture. They don't see the whole story. Uh, they only see and they only know as far as much as you can tell them. But sometimes there are some things in, in the situation.